what's up guys hey i'm finally getting around to doing this long-awaited photoshop in-depth tutorial and so today i'm going to be running you guys through my process in making a banner and we're going to make one from scratch together and it's going to be a really simple one there's not going to be much going into this i'm going to show you a few tools i use a few techniques i use and just make a really really simple banner and that's it first thing i would recommend you guys is like i said in my q a video learn the program see all these tools down the side here learn what they do really just knowing what these tools do and how you can use them will just help you create things also at the top here don't forget you've got all of this stuff too you've got filters second thing i'm going to tell you guys about we're going to be using zero two from darling the franks because She's kind of cute. You want to use rendered images. Now rendered images have this background and you could either get these up by just searching up render at the end or you can go tool, sorry, uh, color and then transparent and it's going to give you every rendered image. We're going to start thinking about, well, once we've got our renders, we're going to drag our images in. Come over here and I want to use this image possibly. If you ever have more than one, just drag them both in with layers always make sure that if you want something to be in front put it down here underneath the layer you want it to be i've got one of these saved pop that in there i can hide images by clicking the eye these have got watermarks on them right click and rust rasterize it which means i can get rid of it thank you random person on the internet for giving me this render to use and also the artist who drew this cute Zero two. Always hit shift when you're enlarging your background so that you do that. Look at that, you're, you're, you're stretching. If you hit alt and you scroll on your mouse, you can zoom in and out. The stuff in the background is technically, you think, an afterthought. For me, it's the thing I like to work on first. And we're gonna come over here to adjustments. Uh, luckily this image has got a lot of colour in it so I just want to put this up a little bit and I really recommend just going through what you can do to images here play around with the saturation a bit and what I do is I just mess around with the image uh, its levels and its curves meaning that I'm taking away the dark ends and r raising some light ends so as you see if I dip this graph down it's going to become like really dark I'm gonna mess around with some blues here. Notice adding a when I add a photo filter onto things, I always like to make it orange because orange gives it a more cinematic slash warm feel. So I want to add some shapes. I'm thinking some circles. You might be thinking this looks a little uh, ugly. We're going to change the way the colors interact layer. Come over here and you click the down arrow on your keyboard. You can change this. I'm gonna go back to our background and it's just one thing i think i'm gonna add a filter to it and i like to add blurs blurs set what's in the foreground and the background apart so my favorite one is the this one i can never say his name we five looking nice and spicy okay now the way my banners start are definitely not the way they always end so i definitely say keep watching this because you're going to see the way i it I switch things out and test with new ideas. Now, another important thing to do is the more layers you add, you're gonna want to um, make folders because it's gonna be easier to, to keep track of. But I'm liking the way this is forming up so far. For a simple banner anyway, for, for beginners, this is looking kind of clean, very simple to the point. Uh, let's now focus on zero two because we've done the background, we've added some shapes in the foreground. The next step would be to look at what our character can look like. Drop shadows are a nice and easy way for the character to stand up from the back. And you can actually tell it's, although you can't really see the drop shadow much, you can still tell that she's somehow popping out more. This, this render, she's got a lot more colors on her and we can work a lot more with that. So I'm gonna try using this one now. So the first thing we're gonna do to her up the contrast on her. Actually, I don't like the way the contrast is looking, so we're not gonna do that. We're going to vibrance. She's got red on her, pink, like her, like she's got a bit of blue. Like her whole kind of body has a lot more colors on it, so I'd like to bring those out a lot more. So she looks a bit more lively, but her colors, because I chose the same colors as the background, kind of blend in a bit too much. So I want to give her a bit more of a cinematic. I want her slightly offset because it makes her look flat. Wait, she ain't flat though. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> now, if I change the hue, I can make this have a completely different color code. Okay, so after playing around with that for a long time, I finally got this. Uh, I thought it looks pretty clean. Background looking nice and juicy. Zero two looking hella cute. A very simple banner. Just got a bit of shapes on there. The render. 
And then finally, we're gonna do the name. Um, maybe if I make more tutorials like this, I'll spice up the name, but we're gonna do something really simple. The website, the font is the plug for when it comes to getting, you can search them by name. So if you wanna get like the Mario font, just type Mario in and it will come up with like, this stuff if you're looking for stuff like that or you can get it by style this is pretty much the place you want to come to when it comes to getting free downloads for fonts and it's really easy to uh install them but yeah that's where you want to go for fonts but for now we're going to use this dusty ass plain looking font first we're going to add a stroke to it just a simple black stroke looks good then we're going to add a drop shadow then we're going to add a gradient and she's got pink hair you can also click anywhere on your banner and it will pick up that color so we're going to change the color of the stroke and what else could we add? Well, this side's looking a little bit empty, so I'm gonna show you guys another little trick what you can do with some images. Could be anything, really. I'm not going too in with this banner, but I'm just trying to show you guys how the basics can come together and eventually look kind of nice. So I'm gonna add the Discord logo in. And what you can do is if you right-click the uh, text layer, copy layer style, you can paste it onto the Discord logo so that they match like that. You just keep playing around with your stuff. We didn't do much in this tutorial. It was really simple. We just went from getting images to putting it in, to changing colors, to adding a filter. Normally I would probably do a bit more to this, but I want it to kind of be a beginner's guide. So if you did enjoy, let's aim for three likes. And maybe if you want me to do another in-depth one where we do more techniques and more things, like I can show you how to do like 3D effects and all that kind of stuff. Uh, put it down in the comment section below and if you do make photoshop videos yourself it'd be great to hear from you guys as well because i need to learn more about this program but yeah that's how you pretty much make a really simple banner on photoshop with anime gfx hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye